It's been a phenomenal uh, Olympic Games for the women's uh, hockey team and the kind of performance that we have seen after decades has been one to cherish, celebrate and think of the next big piece for them, perhaps the World Cup. But for the moment, there's one person who has spent the last many years with them, building their strength, planning their strategy and of course, thinking of what all they need to do together as a team. Joining me now is the Indian women's hockey team coach, Sujord Majin. Thanks very much, Sujord. What do you think worked this time for the girls? No, I must say, like the fitness increased really much. So uh, I must say that that worked really well for the girls. Uh, they were able to uh, show their best in these uh, circumstances because it was very, very hot. Uh, so that's the first thing. The other thing what really worked for them is staying in the moment and uh, not be busy. What what happens if we don't win this match? What happens if we uh, if I don't score a goal? What happens? Like these kind of things that, that means like what if thinking and we try to think, OK, what can you control Yeah, and what can't you control? And we, are, we uh, want the girls only think about what we can control and then you are busy with your task. And I think that really helped in the tournament. You've been their coach for some time now. Are you satisfied the, uh, with the kind of training facilities in place uh, and the kind of uh, infrastructure they've had? Yeah, absolutely. Like we are ending with the best four countries and uh, we can match up with Argentina. And we win Australia. We uh, we did one half really good with Netherlands and everybody could see like they by far the best team in the world. So the, the team really had made steps and now they are one of the yeah, in the in the top eight of, of the world. And if we uh, still would be with the old ranking system, I think we would be in the top five uh, in the world. How strong are, are the, are the, is the team as a whole and uh, where do you see them headed from here? Next. Next big thing would be, of course, in the World Cup, but uh, a lot of things must happen. Like uh, if you see the men's team, they started the project a few uh, many years ago with the Hockey India League, participating on the Pro League, uh, organizing tournaments in India. And these same things have to happen for the girls. And if these things happen, then they can come close and they also can go for a higher position. But this is very, very important. And I hope this will happen because Everybody can see uh, what uh, what the girls did without these things, and uh, what they are capable of. And yeah, they they uh, inspired new young girls. And when young girls are coming into the team, they know the culture is not as it was. It is it has changed. How much of this entire effort that you have put in in the team has been uh, focusing on their mental strength and game? Uh, it starts with belief. Belief that you really can achieve something. Like if you go to the Olympics and you don't believe you can win a medal. Then you even uh, you, you you don't have to go, uh, and I think that worked really well for the girls from the moment uh, from the first moment they said, "Listen, we want to go for that medal," and there was really belief that we could win also from the big countries and come really close. And I think that also happened. Talk to us about some of the girls. So whether it's uh, Vandana Kataria, Gurjeet, uh, how do you think they've all come together in terms of team leadership uh, led by Rani? Yeah, the thing is, uh, like, I, I, I personally don't like to talk only about one player. And uh, the thing is, uh, everybody has to take leadership. Everybody has to take ownership. And uh, Rani did that really well. But for Rani, it's important also to focus on herself. And that's also a kind of leadership that she can show inside the pitch. Uh, Savita is someone outside the pitch who is involving more. But she is working with the young girls like Rani and uh, try to help them, doing speeches uh, with the team. When we did a meeting, she always does a second meeting, uh, but she does it with, with more girls, with Monica, with Shush, with, uh, with Grace, uh, Neya, Navneet. They all take that leadership role because, yeah, the captains can't do it alone. And yeah. the more leaders and the more ownership in the team and the more responsibility they take, uh, the more the whole team will pick. So, Jord, all the best. I know you're stepping down from the team and are looking at the next big picture for yourself. Uh, why did you choose to have this decision at this point when we're at the top? And the reason is because I have four children and a wife and I just want to see my family. And that is the only reason. I, I, I see also a few things and uh, people ask me, please stay and uh, ask the government, please do everything what is necessary. But listen, uh, there's nothing more important than family and no money or whatever. And for me, this was always the plan, being four and a half years in India and after the Olympics, I would leave. And, uh, and that is the only reason. Is there anything else that you'd like to give out as a message? Yeah, yeah. put them in a position. They really also can change things, but uh, sponsorship would help. 
yeah and just that they get more um uh, more in the spotlights because that's what they deserved and that everybody sees okay these women can fight they are resilient uh and it's it, it gives a joy to watch them good luck with everything that you have planned uh sir jord and thanks for bringing our team to where it is today subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us